Hi guys, in this video we learn how to load data from multiple files which are stored in a folder. This is a folder. I created a folder employees data. In this, these are five files which have the same schema. First, to load multiple files, schema of that file should be same. Schema means, for example, this is my first file. In this, for, in this file, I have employee number, employee name, salary department number. The column count four columns i have four columns in every file four columns and data types are first name employee number integer then john string then integer then integer like this integer string for every file the schema is same then to load these five files data into any other file or to any other database first open talent studio in this we have to create a job i'm creating a job with a name load multiple files click on finish job is created then first we have to scan one file one file we have to scan only one file one one file metadata is enough because all file schema metadata is same for example i will give one two three four five this is a metadata Browse for that file, imply one, any one file, any file is enough. Select one file, click on next. Then we have to specify the file separator. Here we can see comma is file separator. Sorry, comma. Then first row is header, employee name, employee number, salary department. These are headers. So set heading row as column names. Click and refresh. Then it will show the data. It is showing correctly. Then click on next. Automatically it will select the data types and column names then click on finish that that file is loaded into talent then we have to select t file list t file list t file list iterate on a set of files from a defined directory that means in the file file list properties we specify a folder the folder which contains the data files browse for that folder employees data this is the folder select the folder i have selected the folder t file list then now iterate for every file for example based on the file mask first we have to specify the file mask in file mask i specify like star dot star that means star dot star means all files all type of files any file name dot any file type it will specify all any file name any file type all files it will specify that means i have all csv files i want to load every file all files in this folder so i specify like star dot star if i want to load for example there is a file like i created a new file which is excel file new excel file if I now there is an Excel file, but I specify like star dot star, then it will try to load this file also, Excel file also. But now I want to load only CSV files. For that, I have to specify like star dot CSV. Then it will try to try to load all the CSV files. These are the all CSV file. For example, I have a file like new file like dpt dot csv then it will try to load this csv file also i specify like all csv then it will try to load dpt dot csv but i do i want to load only employee dot csv files then i have to give file mask like employee emp star dot csv then it will try to load only files which name starts with emp and which file types are csv that means only these employee.csv files try to load that uh, try to come into this t file list component this include subdirectories option is for for example if there is a folder new folder is there i want to load data for example i create a copy of a file into this and I want to edit like employee 
I want to give different data. For example, I want to give 601 like this. This is new data. Employee6.csv save. Now I have another file new in new folder. I have a employee6 file is there. I want to load this file also. Then I have to select include subdirectories. Then it will check for any subdirectories are there. Then come into new and select this file also. If you want to sort any sort of any type of sort, then we can select by default by file name. It will sort by file name by file size. We can select like this. Then we have to give t file list company t file input delimited because all are delimited files like csv files right that's why we have to select t file input delimited from t file list to iterate t file input delimited but in t file input delimited we don't have to give file name file names need to come from t file list so from t file list we need to select the file path t file list there is a current file path this is the variable this variable name we have to give in t file input delimited or from variables by clicking control space it will show all the variables search for t file list t file list current file path this is the file path we have to give in file name and we have to give the schema there is no schema this is empty t file input delimited right we have to specify the schema the schema is like this is the schema right we first scanned the metadata edit schema then copy the schema select all all the columns and copy copy the schema then paste it in t file input delimited edit schema control v paste the schema click on ok schema is created and the file separator is comma you have to specify this okay then to view the data select tlagro to check first it is coming correctly or not mean to tlagro select table to view data in table format schema is okay then run the run the job okay all the files data is came into the t file there is error came couldn't pass value row one employee details okay but data is good employee number employee name fun zero it starts with this is the first file data this is the second file data third file data fourth file fifth file this is from subdirectory new folder this is data if you want to load into any database remove the tlog row i already scan scanned metadata of oracle database drag and drop the local database db output we have to specify the db output because we want to store the data then row main to db in this we have to give table name for example i give like emp list and the table is not created so create table it does not exist then run the job again okay 10 rows job done successfully first of all we check refresh the tables in oracle then select star from emp list control enter okay all rows are all files data is came into database this is the subfolder this from subfolder these are from directly main folder that's it thank you